Elgato has updated its line of game capture cards with this, the new HD60S. On the outside, it looks a lot like the previous HD60 with a small, compact form factor and minimal external ports. New is the inclusion of not only USB Type-C, but also USB 3.0 behind it, which is an important upgrade. It helps with Elgato's instant game view with incredibly low latency thanks to the faster data speeds you get over using USB 2.0. As such, you can get away with playing your games through the app in most circumstances. There is a very small amount of latency visible when you slow down video footage, but not so much to the naked eye. Included with the HD60S is the Elgato Game Capture HD 3.0 software. You can use this for both capturing and streaming, and it's got a lot going for it. For one, it's very well laid out and very simple to use, so it's attractive for beginners. But that doesn't mean it isn't also for the more experienced too. The recording and broadcast controls are along the bottom with settings up the side of your capture feed. The HD60S can handle footage at up to 1080p resolution and up to 60 frames per second. Both of these can be adjusted to your own tastes, as can the audio source. And with previous Elgato capture cards, you can purchase the optional chat link cable to help you mix in your party chat with your captures or your streams. Over on the right hand side of the window is where you'll control the mechanics of your video. Game Capture HD lets you stream to Twitch, YouTube and Dailymotion and it's here where you'll choose your service, sign in and manage the quality of your stream. Adjusting the dial will increase or decrease the bandwidth you dedicate to pushing the stream and with it the resolution and frame rate will alter automatically before you hit the big green stream button. Below this you can manage game audio levels and how loud your live commentary is. There'll be some trial and error getting a good balance but it's super easy to tweak. For the more ambitious streamer, Stream Command can help you take sweet looking overlays and put them on your stream with minimal fuss. Or so long as you have the hardware at least. Otherwise you may get hit with some bottlenecks that result in nothing being outputted to the stream. You'll need, Elgato says, a second generation i7 processor and 4GB of RAM or above to use it. And I've been testing it out with an i5 4430 and 16GB of RAM with no real joy. Adding your own webcam is a cinch, and Elgato has chroma key functionality built in for those who use a green screen. It's not the most advanced way to do this sort of thing, but it's simple and it's user friendly and it's a great way for beginners to get started. Of course, this being an Elgato card, you get full support for third party broadcast software such as XSplit and OBS, with the card being recognized without issue. So you can just carry on with your regular streaming schedule. So that's a quick look at the Elgato HD60S. Be sure to head to Windows Central for our full review.